Rumors are that allegedly Robin had to do this one big thing in order to return to Real Housewives of Potomac. What was it? Well, I have some new information that may answer that question and more right after this. What's up, Kimfo? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, Kimfo. Come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly Robin had to do this one big thing in order to return to the Real Housewives of Potomac franchise. What was it? Well, I have some new information that may answer that question and more. And here it goes. Rumors are that Robin Dixon was able to successfully plead her case to the Real Housewives of uh, Potomac producers in order to keep her job. But the question is, at what cost? A source said, Robin was allegedly able to save her job by pleading her case that her presence on the show is important to the overall group dynamic. Apparently, producers bought it and brought her back. The source continued, Robin somewhat played her cards right, but not too good. Although Giselle was the only housewife to back Robin in her campaign to return, Giselle's pull wasn't strong enough to help Robin in the second part of the negotiation process. Allegedly, Robin wasn't offered her full contract and took a huge pay cut in the source. Another insider said, Robin returning had some strong conditions and not just money. And honestly, I'm surprised she resigned, ended the source. So the question is, outside of money, what other conditions did Robin allegedly have to make or meet in order to return to the Real Housewives of Potomac franchise? Well, allegedly, Robin had to agree to show every detail involving Juan's cheating and him being fired from his coaching job. The insider continued, Robin was allegedly extremely open to bending to the needs of production in order to save her job. A key motivating factor had to have been why losing his job and income continued the source. So Robin had to protect the other source of income coming into the house, even if it was a huge pay cut, ended the source. Another source added, I see it being very hard for Robin to really stick to her alleged contract agreement. Although Robin and Juan have been seen filming together, it's highly unlikely that Juan will go further than that. He has never felt comfortable discussing his marital issues on camera, and now with even more accusations, I highly doubt he will start anytime soon, ended the insider. All sources agree that Robin did deserve some type of punishment regarding her actions last season. She really, played bra she really played Bravo and her castmate, said an industry insider. It was all downright disrespectful and slick evil. However, her ultimate disciplinary action may be watching her entire plan of backpedaling fail in real time, ended the source. For all we know, Robin may be a friend of the show this season, just so Bravo can milk her and Juan's storyline and then ultimately let them go for good. Now, Kimfo, this was a lot of information and, uh, you know, I think I had to take it for a grain of salt for right now because, you know, Robin is back and they just started filming. But as always, um, you know, we're going to dissect this rumor and find some places and rooms where this rumor probably could hold some weight. And the first part of this room that I find um, very interesting is this. You know, it's very interesting that Bravo brought Robin back. Because what Robin did last season was just pull a big power move. And normally a lot of housewives don't go unscathed after pulling a big power move or pulling rank against the network and producers. Um, 
You know, it is a very dangerous game, I think, that producers did with bringing Robin back. Um, and it just shows that a person could just downright lie on someone, completely ruin their reputation and their careers, and get brought back for a, another season. Now, you know, maybe there is something to the plan with using Robin and her storyline and letting her go. Um, but again, we can only wonder at this point. Because unlike other times when Housewives have gone up against the Bravo machine, it doesn't always turn out with your contract or their contract being renewed. Now, we have some Housewives who have been fired for far less worse. But with that being said, I do think that you have to look at this from both perspectives. Robin wanting to, turn, wanting to return and Bravo needing her return, needing her to return. And it all just really just does suspend logic and it also suspends, you know, morals and values and the overall look of the show. So with that being said, um, it brings me to this next uh, talking piece that my source said has been a big conversation um, behind the scenes. And it's this. Robin returning after knowing what she has done or did to Wendy and other ladies last season. My sources are saying that the word or the phrase that everyone behind the scenes is using is declassing the show. Um, and it's also, my sources are saying, putting a spotlight on other brands and other franchises and how Robin returning could negatively affect, uh, impact their, the other brands and franchises' performances next year or later on this year. And my sources are saying the first test of that is going to be with the Real Housewives of Potomac. Can people stomach women of color, and in particular, can particular can women of color stomach watching other women of color constantly berate each other, constantly lie on each other, and constantly try to tear apart their families with any, with any regards to or lack of regards to their children and their family unit? So with that being said, this is a very dangerous game that I believe that, you know, Bravo is playing and that Robin has played. And it really does have a triple down or a trickle down negative effect on all the other franchises in the Bravo Housewife universe. Now, with that being said, um, as, it as it regards to the rumor that Robin took a pay cut, um, I find that rumor very believable because of this. Now... As always, these rumors are alleged information and speculation, but sometimes there can be a little truth or at least a little um, bit of information that could make you feel like, okay, I can see this possibly being the reason. And I could see Robin taking a huge pay cut in order to rejoin the Real Housewives of Potomac. Because at the end of the day, no, uh, some money is better than no money. And I think that may be what Bravo could have done. Brought Robin back after she just blatantly lied and disrespected the other ladies and ultimately the, the network and producers. I think bringing her back, I can see them using her storyline with, um, I think I think her uh, using her storyline with Juan could make up for um, what they did not discuss on camera these last two seasons. But I also see Bravo just really milking their, milking their situation and probably milking their situation to where there is absolutely nothing left in the storyline or to the point to where there's nothing left in Juan and Robin's marriage. Now, did Robin take a pay cut? We don't know. Again, it's all speculation. However, um, if she was to take a pay cut, I think it might have been the smart thing to do and maybe give herself an opportunity this season to redeem herself. But from what my sources are saying, uh, Robin does not play the game of reality TV show that well. So her thinking trying to um, protect or clean up her image means probably throwing another drink in Wendy's face or something to that effect. Uh, but Kim Folk, the last part of this rumor that I do find very interesting and it involves one. Um, and I, I'll be perfectly honest with you. This is probably the biggest part of the rumor that I can actually see as being factual. And it's this. You know, if you are to believe this rumor and alleged information, you know, I definitely can see Juan sabotaging, sabotaging uh, Robin's plan for her, um, her returning and talking about their marriage issues and talking about Juan's infidelity and him losing his job. I do think Juan was sabotage it by honestly not talking about it and avoiding Robin, Robin and the cameras altogether. 
Now, we did see Robin and Juan together, I think, this past weekend on, like, group outing or whatnot. But that was something small. But I do think that if or when Robin does bring up the cheating allegations and while losing his job, I do think Juan is going to be in a place where he just simply doesn't want to talk about it. And he probably feels as if these issues have already caused him enough stress. So he have to continue to relive it, film a whole season, then come back and watch the whole season unfold over another year and then be re-triggered by it. I don't think Juan sees it as being worth it. Especially if he's trying to rebuild his brand, his reputation. It's best sometimes you just leave stuff alone, let it die down, and build back on top of it bigger and better. But Kim folks, you know, I want to know what you guys believe. If you are to believe this rumor that Robin did take a huge pay cut in order to return this season, do you think it was worth it or do you think it was not going to be worth it? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Alright Kim folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys over in the next one. Peace.